pasión Con una pasión tan fuerte What's going on, people? It's John Dillard again, bringing you another speed draw. This is a little bit different. It's a little bit different. If you're looking at my screen right now, it looks a little different right now. And I'm testing this out. I had originally uh, wanted to do a whole um, thing recorded, and I'm giving all kinds of like uh, uh, tips and, and, and dialogue of what I'm doing, what I'm doing, how I'm drawing along, and all that stuff. And <clears throat> none of it went through. The audio was way too low, so I'm just doing a voiceover. <laughs> but I'm drawing uh, Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle was uh, suggested in the comments section, so if you guys have a suggestion for what you want me to draw next, or if you play the uh, the, uh, the Scriblio that we do uh, every now and then, uh, some of these will be given away as prizes. So uh, go ahead and put in the in the suggestions uh, down there in the uh, in the comments section of the video. But uh, yeah, I wanted to draw Blue Beetle. Not a big fan of the old Blue Beetle. Not not a big fan of the uh, you know the uh, the old uh, Alex Ross looking. Uncle in a your uncle in a, in a superhero costume at a birthday party look. So uh, I did go with the with the more modern take and, and doing this. It, it does feel um, a little bit like cheating. It, it, I think this character was designed this way for animation, so it was meant to be drawn uh, simply and quickly. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a uh, it's a pretty cool looking character. I like it. He has a you know a whole. Uh, whole bevy of uh, of powers that a suit can do it uh, and I'm not a big fan of the old um, what was the old, the old the old Ted court where he he was essentially Batman he was just a rich guy that knew a bunch of stuff and and that was his power and all of his stuff was money based I, I do like I was I'm, I was more of a fan of the uh, of the old uh, what was the other one Dan Garrett I think it was Dan Garrett where he actually did have some powers. But uh, <clears throat> this one, I think, is much more interesting, um, having it this way. Because there, there's a bunch of people with, that, that look that, that old school way, looking like the, 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 the Phantom or whatever. But uh, th this gives you a little more leeway. But I decided to leave it more of like this, this coloring book style, because I, when, you, when you try to get too crazy with the, uh, with the animated characters and you try to make them too realistic you sort of reach that uncanny valley where he starts to look a little bit creepy and you really don't want that uh, i did that one time when i was drawing uh, i think beast boy from teen titans and i started making him more dynamic and 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 more realistic and it just came out looking super creepy the hair that i, <laughs> I did fur on him and he was really creepy looking because he looked like a real animal uh, especially when you start doing the eyes but uh, yeah, tell, let, me, uh, let me know what you think of this new format and if I can get this working and actually doing the commentary, slowing it down and doing some commentary on the side uh, when the opportunity arises, let me know, I'd appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to share this video out, subscribe and like it. Uh, I appreciate all of you, love you, peace. Para mi gente